for today's video, we're going to look at two different D11s in a little bit slightly different configurations here that have been torn apart slightly. As you can see, this one, the engine looks a little bit different. That's because this one has been retrofitted with the newer C32 engine that is currently in a, the brand new machines when you buy them. Not this configuration, this is tier two. This does not have the catalyst mufflers on it and it does not have EGR coolers. So Caterpillar offered this. For older models that people were wanting to get a little bit better fuel mileage out of, can see what they've jerked the final drives off of it the cab's been taken off rollover structure the hard nose is the part that articulates forward where the you can take the radiator out of it this one does have buyer suppression a lot of these financed machines, of course, I don't know the backstory on this one. A lot of these financed machines, the lender has started to require the fire suppression so they don't lose their investment. Because these are pretty prone to catching fire. Even though there's a lot of metal and steel and dirt, there's also a lot of oil and residue that can be flammable. So the easiest way to tell on a machine if it's been retrofitted is it has, this one has these triangle newer style doors closest to the cab where this one has these square type doors for its engine enclosure. And there you can see that's a 3508 v, uh, V8 configuration, older engine. And this one over here, it's a smaller footprint the engine takes up inside. This is a C32, it's a V12 design. So this one's got fuel filters up here. There's no fuel filter door here on this one. As you can see, This one has the, the two fuel filters behind this door. So that's another way to tell when you walk up on the machine. I'm not really sure what the story is on these two machines. They pulled them apart. There's a lot of parts sitting over there for them. They pulled them apart, set them up on blocks and They've been sitting here for several months. I'm not sure what they're gonna do with them, but once they start working on them, we will follow their progress with some a series of videos. Here's what a roller frame looks like when it's torn apart. Here's the equalizer bar. It's got a center pin, and then it pins to the roller frames right here both sides and there's the pivot shaft so really the only thing that's driving this machine from the tracks is this point and that pivot shaft or axle point back there which that's a pretty serious piece of steel Let me give you an idea of the size of it nest behind the backup alarm. So we will most likely do a follow-up video on these two machines once they start to get some work done on them. how much material gets built up in the bottom guards or belly pans.
as you can see this was a remanufactured engine from Caterpillar we did not rebuild this engine in our shop yet thank you guys for watching this video catch you in the next one